Hey, what's going on guys? Joe and John here with sandblastingmachines.com and today we're going to be talking to you about remote control systems. Now, OSHA safety regulations require using a remote control system on your blast machine. The RC system must be compatible with your blast machine in order to comply with these safety regulations. So, right off the bat, John, help me out. Uh, how do I start with trying to choose a system? Joe, uh, RC systems have valves matched in size to the blast machine piping. So really what you want to do is pay attention to the uh, pipe size on your machine, be it okay. a half inch pipe, uh, one inch pipe, or one and a quarter pipe. Uh, there's also different RC systems based on the model machine you have, okay. uh, be it a, a classic blast machine, a contractor blast machine, or the wet blast flex. They actually have a different remote system. Okay. Um, and then, you know, really uh, pneumatic or electric. You know, what do I need a pneumatic setup or electric setup based on your blast hose length? All right, perfect. So a lot of different options here. Let's start off with classic blast machines. All right, so for classic blast machines, you're going to get the TLR system, which includes all the components of a remote control system for a blast machine setup. It's going to include the inlet valve, the outlet valve, your twin line hose, your RLX control handle, or dead man, you know, pretty much everything you need there to run that pot, telling it whether or not to be pressurized or depressurized. All right, perfect, and this would be a pneumatic setup. Right, right, so in your TLR system, you, you are looking at a pneumatic setup. Uh, these generally work best in operations where you have 100 feet of hose or less. You know, okay. generally it's a 50 foot length. If you bought a, a complete package from us, it'd be 50 foot of hose, you can get the TLR 100 or 300 or 50. Okay, right on. Um, so again, the TLR50 being for half inch pipe, TLR100 goes for one inch pipe, and the TLR300 for the one and a quarter pipe. And TLR stands for? Twin line remote. Okay, right on, perfect, makes sense. Let's go ahead and jump into the electronic. Right, so the electronic setup. So that's where you're gonna be, you know, if Klemco's recommending, if you have a blast hose 100 feet long, uh, you sort of means your operators will be 100 feet away from the blast machine, they want you to go electronic. Okay. And the reason for that is these, these twin line hoses are actually like a, a circuit type system where, you know, there's a, a circuit of air coming out to the dead man, but it's being let go at the dead man right. until the operator actually mashes that handle. Once they press that handle, that air signal is now going all the way back to the blast pot uh, telling the inlet valve to open and the outlet valve to close, thus pressurizing the system. Okay. But if you're 100 feet away, you're going to have a pretty good delay there. So right. uh, Klemco recommends at 100 feet you go electronic, and OSHA actually requires at 200 feet you must go to an electronic dead man setup. All right, perfect. And then let's go over to contractor blast machines. Right, so now the contractor systems, they actually are, are set up with a what they call the Millennium Valve. Okay. Uh, the Millennium Valve is an all-in-one system where it has the inlet valve on one side and the outlet valve on the other side. Um, the best way I, I could describe it is almost picture like a twin cylinder engine uh, where you have one side uh, on its inlet side and the other side on exhaust side uh, depending on where you're at in, in that cycle. So almost looks just like a uh, twin cylinder engine and this does also utilize the RLX control handle and twin line hose. Okay. Uh, just a little bit different way of pressurizing and, and letting the pressure out of the pot at, at, the, at the system. All right, perfect. And then we have pressure hold and pressure release systems. Right, right, so uh, pressure hold. So when you're looking at a pressure hold type system, this is where maybe you have more than one operator. You know, you okay. might have one, two, maybe three. Uh, so what would happen, let's say you and I were blasting right. um, and you needed to go take a break. Go get some lemonade. <laughs> That's right, all right, right. Uh, <laughs> but when you let go of that dead man, we don't want that pot to depressurize. We okay. want to keep me blasting or the other operators blasting. So. Uh, it allows you to stop blasting and allows me to continue blasting. Okay, perfect. On a pressure release type, uh, like your typical TLR 300s or TLR 100s, right. as soon as you let go of that dead man, that is why they call it a dead man, when you let go of that, it's going to depressurize the pot. You don't have a hose flying around with around. All right, so this has been a little bit of an overview of our offering of remote control systems here at sandblastingmachines.com. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm Joe. With me, as always, is John. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you, guys.